Tell me I don't have the flyest intro music, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Pierre's Panic Room. You know how we do, man. We always have a great guest, and this time it ain't no different. We got a repeat, you know. We got to. I'm gonna say he ain't even a guest no more. He's just a member of the family now. You know what I'm saying? He's here and stuff. So you know who it is. Y'all saw the label. Y'all saw who's coming, man. It's about to be off the chain, man. So thanks again, man. And thank y'all for every time I walk down the street, y'all tell me y'all love the show, man. You love. You say Pierre, we love Pierre's Panic Room. Sometimes you just say the Panic Room. I need to hear the whole thing. Pierre's Panic Room. Okay, damn, just Panic Room. I need to hold the whole thing. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for telling me y'all love it, man. If you if this was your first time here, subscribe or hit the notification bell so you can hear whenever we got something new coming up. Always got a dope show, man. This is season four, man. We got to the fourth season, y'all. So again, without y'all, we wouldn't be possible to do this. So thank you so much. Subscribe and share this, man. If you like clips, share this thing, all right? All right, here we go, y'all. Uh, as you know, I got to read some of the comments that y'all be leaving on stuff, you know, some of this stuff here. Um, this is from the... Um, Ralph Tresvent, shout out to my man Ralph Tresvent for new edition for coming through and sharing a lot of stuff, man. He don't do he, he's like, he don't do interviews, no definitely no podcast, so he did mine. I appreciate it. This was about the boys, to, uh, just about um, different groups that you know they kind of uh, influenced and stuff like this. So this is from a guy named Jerome Brooks Seven. He writes, Pierre, we should be checking on to you faster, even when I think I wouldn't be interested in a guest. I've been intrigued. Okay, keep doing what you're doing, man. And I'm, I'm so proud of you. You're a DMV guy. I'm from the, from DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Uh, keep doing it. And once again, power to it. All right. Here's another one. And people, um, they love uh, Ralph Tresman on this one. It was like this guy, Black, or I don't know Black, but Black Broadway film. Shout out to them. Ralph is a true legend since day one. I know that's right. He definitely has been a true legend, man. And a good guy to come through and do my little show. You know what I'm saying? Do a little something, something. This is from the Lavelle Crawford uh, backstage pass. People love him and they love what he did. So let's go pick him up. Um, here's one right here. A guy, Reese, oh, female. Reese Washington 81 says, Pierre, you, did, you are a real one for highlighting and showcasing raw talent. I appreciate your channel. Salute. Thank you so much, Reese Washington 81. All right, y'all. No further delay, we got the champ in the building, okay? A true legend of this business, man. He's come on the show and kill, his personality kills. People say they love me and him, pers his personality together. I love him because we're on the phone and we crack up just like we're going to do right here today. I'm just going to bring him back. I just wanted to talk to him, man. Just talk to him about the world, what's happening in the world, man. No, nothing particular. We're just going to talk about some stuff um, um, and do it, you know, from there. Give it up for the one and only Mr. George Wallace! Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Sit down, man. Can you hear me? Have a day. Yeah, we hear. Can damn, we, okay, yeah. Can we, can we, can you, the worst part, we can see you. You know what I'm saying? Me? Yeah, yeah, yes, see I have my mask on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. I don't trust any of you sons of bitches. I don't know none of y'all. Somebody in here got something. What? what? We ain't got so, nothing. If you got some, raise your hand. Back then, took all these people. Somebody in here got something. Trust right, me. Right, right, right. They got but, something. Well, they I got... really wear this for your protection. Maybe I've told you this before. I wear it all the time mm -hmm. because I have. I'm gonna take it off right now. Plus. So now you don't care. Plus, I need to show my new teeth. I always I, I know I need that, to, man. I've seen it. I have to show the teeth. You know, and, uh, they look as good as they looked the last time I saw them. Well, Ooh hey, they, they come with a guarantee. You don't like them in 30 days. <laughs> it's, <laughs> not your mouth. it's not your mouth. It's not your mouth. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I wear the mask because of your protection. It's basically right. because I have this little thing called morning breath. Oh, ooh. And when you got morning breath at night, Right. That, that's pretty bad, ain't it? Yeah, because it ain't morning bad. right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so I really see, see something wrong with me, something different. And, and, and I think the government spends a lot of money, and I really think that's something that we should spend money on is uh, morning breath. Really? Because I've I been thinking sometimes, like, what the hell happens in your mouth during the night? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you know you go, to, you go to bed with regular breath. And, right. And then I think, I think about, it must be about 2.30, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, uh -huh. all the bed bugs get together and they say, let's go take a shit in his mouth. Oh, hell no. So I don't know, what the hell happens in your mouth? And it's just like, ooh. <laughs> and they say you can't smell your own breath. That's some bullshit. Really, you can't? That's some I can't. I smell yours over here. Oh, Chew your on, hand. Man, don't do that. Don't you throw my hand? <laughs> you ain't right, man. You ain't shit. You, ain't you know, shit. but let me stop right now. I'm gonna turn. I don't think people can see my face. I love Atlanta Braves. Let's make that. Right, right. Some people think I mean an asshole. Right, it does you know, for you. You know, asshole is a compliment now. Is it really? You, when we were kids, okay. you call somebody an asshole, they might 
They're mad. Yeah, but I tell you what, when you walk out and everybody watching this program, I swear to you, next time you're walking down the street, you see a lot of people just yell out, hey, asshole! At least six, seven people going to turn, turn around. around. Turn around, yeah. Go, yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. who? You just start talking to me. Somebody called me. Oh, what? Yeah, right, right, I'm going right. to turn my head around. So oh, is that what we're going to do? Uh, okay. you can see my face a little bit. I don't see know. too much of your face now. You got the kind of hat that goes over your whole face? You got that anyway with you in the car? You know, you got the biggest head in the world, so I know you're not going to talk from the DMV. <laughs> oh, what I was wanting to say, what I wanted to say was about you and your show, uh, mm -hmm. Pierre's uh, Panic Room. There you go. I like the way you said that. Pierre's Panic Room. There and, you uh, go. We're so, the community and all the comedians talk about you. Uh -huh. What a great job you're doing. I oh, appreciate just, it. And I just love talking to you. I don't even, I don't even know, you told me to come by. I don't know right. what you're going to talk about. We talk about I whatever, I just enjoy man. you. And, and you don't do that with a lot of people, you know. No, they, they ain't yeah. worthy of that. But you are. Uh, well, but you came you. here complaining oh, about no, the heat. No, 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 no. I'm talking about you. You don't tell me oh. I'm worthy. You the one worthy today. Don't die. Oh, you bad. the one. It's oh, pleasure. Your, your pleasure, not oh, mine. Okay, damn. Yeah. Well, you ain't shit. When, when was it, when was it you your pleasure? Say, did you just say shit? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You ain't shit. Boy, you know that. You know that's me, right? You can. And Ooh. you come in, any spot you come in, you come in complaining. You talk about the heat, it's too hot out here, what's the hot is? And then you tell me what? You don't know it's hot outside? Why don't you know, know it's hot, hot outside? I live in a house, I got upstairs, we got three air conditions in my unit, okay? And they're all on 72. Hell and then I get, I go down in the, in the car, the basement's in the, the right. car's in the basement, I get okay. in the car, and the car has air conditioning. And I drive up here, and I didn't know it was hot till I got to this damn place. Well, first of all, because you ain't around us no more. You with the white folks, you with the rich folks, where it's all air conditioned. You remember growing up in the South, nigga, you, you, brother, you ain't had no damn air conditioning. I, I, in the South? Ooh, I grew up right here in Atlanta. We used to do stupid stuff, man. You don't know about this because you're too young. Okay. We good. would take like a, the, the bucket, we, the, the, the tub we'd take a bath in, uh -huh. like a number two tub. Some big, if you're from the South country, we would take a bath in a tub. And we would take ice, uh, blocks of ice, and put the ice in the tub, and we'd have the fan blow the air off the... Uh, we were innovative and creative, and that would make the air cooler. Well, the same tub we took a bath in nasty ass water. Let me tell you hold something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that before the caveman discovered fire or what? Nigga, how old is you? We putting the blocks of ice in a tub. I was old. I'm trying to tell you, you don't understand. And then we slept in the bed. Sometimes it would be so hot that uh, we would leave the door open or the windows open. I don't know. We did survive. Yeah, That's probably why a lot of people died back in the day of disease and things like that. But <laughs> times are better. And I understand there's still some people that don't have air conditioning now, believe it or not. And mm -hmm. I feel sorry for those people. Wow. Actually, there's some great places like in San Francisco. Okay. There's a hotel, I forgot the name of the hotel, but I went there and I was complaining. I said, just, there's no air conditioning in the room. They said, sir, I'm at a four star hotel. Okay. I said, there's no air conditioning. They said, sir, you pretty much don't need air. I said, that's, that's as much money as I'm paying here. Right. That's some bullshit. Right. And I came back the same night and I said, can I get a blanket? <laughs> It gets that cold in San Francisco. Oh, I see, what you're actually, I see what you're saying. You don't actually need the heat, well, air conditioning. But uh, it is a wonderful thing. It's a blessing to have it when it's really hot. I'm telling you, I don't know how hot it is, but what a blessing it is for me to walk around my house in my drawers, mm. and it's 72 degrees. You know that's a blessing. You ever, you never, you don't think about simple things like that that you're blessed. No. Just having air in your house. Well. I I do. Because if you don't have I, air, it'd be like from the windows right. to the walls. Right, right. No, I hear you. Mm -hmm. But, well, I, can, I, I count my blessings every time I look down. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing up. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't thank oh. God that much. I know you, yeah, you must be mad at God. <laughs> no, I ain't. <laughs> you no, look I down. Ain't. You no, must I be ain't. mad. Talk, yeah. Speaking of God being mad at somebody, <coughs> uh, you were at the Burning Man f Festival recently? Was that where you were at? I was at the Burning Man I, I had no business out there. That's another thing. Certain people, Chris Rock, I love him. He's like okay. my son, right? Certain people need to keep their ass at home. You don't need to be out there. That's some white people shit. Right. What were you keep doing it. there? I went out there because I had a helicopter. Hmm. And I, my hell, I said, Chris, let's go. And okay. he, he, he didn't talk, and I left his ass. This is when, what, what, what happened? Uh, like, a, like a water storm, a rainstorm came and made muddy? What, what? He, I think he was filming something back. But certain places, black people just shouldn't be. They do that. They got an electric dance festival. They do it. They go out in the sun. First of all, it's in the desert, right? Okay. So it's going to be 195 degrees out there in Damn. the middle of nowhere. But it rained this time. Never rained before. And it did rain and just knocked the place. It was a, it was a royal flush. Wow, I like that. It was that. a royal, royal flush, flush. I like that. But uh, Chris needed, uh, I don't know what he was out there. It's not my business, but my right. job is to make jokes. So what were you doing out there? A stand-up comedy show? I do what I want to do. Yes, I just go to see what was happening. And then, uh, you know, in certain places, like when um, 
when I see certain places you shouldn't be. When you see a, a MAGA, how you pronounce it, what, MAGA? Right, MAGA. See, right. don't even ask me anything like, some, what do I hate? I hate, and I, I'm glad I can say that, I hate black MAGA supporters. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't hate black Republicans. Right. But the MAGA supporters, right. they don't lost it, man. What, do, what the hell do you, who the hell do you, you, these people don't give a shit about you. Mm -hmm. They don't give a damn about you. And you sitting there, what's this guy named the MAGA leader? Just they, was in jail. Enrico, Enrico. Yes. Now to me, they say he's Cuban, but to me, he's black. black. You look at me black. black. I told y'all he was going to get more time than anybody else. Why? The color of skin? Going down, ain't he? But, but he ain't the only, well, they still got charges left for other people. Well, we, I don't know yet. I, I bet you, look, so far, he's got the yeah, big, yeah. yeah. It was quick, too, boy. Big, yeah, it was quick. That's what I'm talking about. Years, Somebody years? may get more time, but as of today, he's got 22 years. Yeah. So hanging out with them people. Oh, the mega. Yeah. And I think, I think everybody should get 20 years trying to overthrow the, 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 the government democracy. Right, right. I think everybody was up there. Right, right. Trump should get twice as much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And yeah. so, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you who ain't messing around. That girl from uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Kind of, Atlanta. Fanny, Fanny, Fanny Willis. Willis. Woo-wee. That sister coming and, out with a claw. And we're going to change the name of the Fulton County Jail to Trump Towers. That, that we, <laughs> we're going to put Trump Towers up there. we got like a wing that. for everything. You know what? I wish I was a mayor of all these major cities that okay. people complain. Like in Atlanta right now, at the Trump Towers, uh -huh. at, 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 at the Wichita Golden Post Jail. Right. Five people have died in the last month. I heard this from, uh, from bugs, bugs, like bugs. people. Um, Bed bugs, what else? Uh, the food poisoning, right. shank, right. whatever they got. Yeah. You know what? When I become mayor of a city or governor of a state, that's the kind of jail I'm going to run. Your ass going to jail. You ain't coming to no party. Yeah. You have bed bugs in your jail? I don't give a damn. You you want to alleviate the problem? Don't go to jail. Oh, that ain't Keep your ass out of jail. And let's advertise it on the news every day. You know the, the man that runs shot the little girl just through the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got. We just had another twenty years to his. People need to know shit like that's the kind of mayor governor I would be. So you I'm saying we're getting mad right now, huh? If you was a judge, you'd be like, Trump Towers for you. I'd be like, Trump Towers for you. I'd be like, Trump Towers for you. What's the name, Judge Pete Me Markham? Send him in and we'll get him from now on this morning. Everybody yeah. going to jail this morning. Besides the bed bugs, what else would you do in your jail? What, how about the food would you be? What, how, how cruel as a judge would you, you get? You get whatever's left over from, from, from yesterday. Denny's? <laughs> from Denny's, that's too good. From, Wal good. from Waffle House, not, not, no, 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 Waffle no, House no. got. Don't you say Waffle, that. Waffle. Waffle House is good. What? I don't know whether you've been there lately or not. Only thing. You ain't that rich then. Let me tell you something. Only, yeah, no, I'm good. from Atlanta though. Eventually, you have to return to where you come from. Everybody, whatever cities you're from, where you're from, you got to return to a place that now may be shitty. But when you were a kid, we had a place called the Zesto in Atlanta. You went there. That was that was a big time. Yeah. That was big time. But, you, but, you but big one time. thing about the Waffle House, I love it. It's based in Atlanta. I go to the same Waffle House every day. I get the same menu. Mm -hmm. I order the same order. Mm -hmm. I get the same waitress. And every day, it's a different total. <laughs> it goes anywhere from nine ninety nine to thirteen twenty six. I swear to God, that can't count. That's funny. That's funny. And that funny is true, you know. Uh, so I, I love it. I love it. But well, what else would you do in the jail? Let me see. It. What about showers in the jail? How would you? How would you do? Everybody that? go to the same shower. I tell you what. One else shower with thirty uh, niggas. Okay, if you are, uh, one head. Huh? One head and 30 dudes up in there fighting for they the shower. They like that, yeah. <laughs> if you don't like sleeping under Bubba, don't do the, don't do the crime. This, this is the kind of jail we run down here. You don't know what's going to happen to your ass. So if I were you, don't go to jail. Don't go to jail. What about rec? Would you give him some kind of rec to do, some recreation to do? What would the recreation be in a jail? If you're in a jail with 25, 3,500 men, you're gonna get, there's going to be some running around. <laughs> I know it's that's not, right. I know that's right. Around, you know? Damn, that's the exercise. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I tell you what else I would do if I was in if I was in charge of the country. Uh, uh, these uh, people, what do you call them? Uh, serial killers. Sure, okay. People like that. I wouldn't waste no money on them and uh, feeding them and putting them in jail and things okay. like clothing them and stuff like that. Really? I wouldn't. No, we ain't gonna waste no money on them. What would you do? And then, um, as soon as they, you say guilty, they they sitting down in the chair. They sitting in the chair. I don't know what I would do. I don't. I know we ain't gonna spend no money on them and investing in them. And send them these nice jails. All I know is the next spaceship going up, they go they'll have it. a seat on that plane. Ooh. I'm talking about the one to go to Mars and drop your ass off. Now, if you have decent, you know, if you've been a decent person, right. when we come back and check you out 10 years from now, we'll talk about it. Mm. But I know one thing, another thing I'm going to do when I'm in charge of this country. What you going to do? On your first time, what do they call it, the first time you commit a crime? Right, right, right. That's going to be your first time going to jail. I know you ain't going to get off because it's your first time. Come on, it might be petty. It might not be that serious. Uh, it, it's, it's, jaywalking. It will be, be according. Jaywalking, you ain't going to jail for jaywalking. Okay, all right, all right. But if you're going to jail for shooting somebody, okay. or, or, oh, 
of these people that are robbing people and, yes. and, and, and hitting old people upside the head yeah. and things for no reason like that, mm -hmm. oh, you're gonna know the next time you go into jail. You're gonna know the next time. What about the kids that run in and break these stores and grab all this stuff and run out of that? What, what, what you know that thing they eat the cheese and the, what you call the cheese and the, uh, and the, and the sausage on, wasn't they call that thing, chakachuri? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Chakachuri boy. Take that boy and whip them on their ass like they used to when we were kids. These kids need some good ass whooping because they ain't got no parents to whoop their ass and they don't learn like we did. You know, they don't. They snatching shit and they pants underneath their ass and they still get away. They barely can walk. I saw a boy like yesterday at Leonard Square had his pants hang 400 pounds Ooh. with his pants hanging off his ass. And I had to say, pull your pants up, boy. He said, this boy's real cool. <laughs> That one, no boy, that was Lavelle Crawford. Uh, <laughs> Lavelle, Lavelle, put your pants Lavelle up. don't you talk about Lavelle like that? I love Lavelle. Lavelle is he a wonderful guy or what? Mm. He is so well. He lost so much weight. He's trying to borrow some of my suit. Hell it no. Hell, hell no. It ain't mm -hmm. gonna work. He, matter of fact, I saw him on this show, and he was. We had to fluff up the, the metal chair. He was uh, Come there. on, don't do that to him, man. Don't do that. <laughs> you said we had to brace it with some metal on it. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, let man. me tell you something about Lavelle though. Uh huh. You talking about funny? Uh -huh. This guy is very funny, and oh, everybody yeah. we love him, mm -hmm. and uh, um, we celebrate him. So mm -hmm. you know, he he good at what's called joning and snapping too. Both yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be that'd be a nice one. You and him, ooh, -wee. you 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 deadly too with the yeah, ones with the mamas right and all that. Right now, I'm talking about Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I ain't even know he had hair. He got a hat on his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Both of y'all be good awesome. at that. Speaking of jail, uh, we're talking about jail. Uh, Trump is going to jail. Do you think he's going to actually go to jail? Do you think Trump won't go, man? I hope he does. I mean, Fanny, I mean, the reason, let me tell you something. I think, because I've been thinking sometimes, what a wonderful idea is to have, have all these people uh, judged on 19 at the same time, because that means okay. on 19 I'm get the same penalty. It doesn't have to be, some cases I think, there's a possibility that it could be some separate cases. Okay. But people like Trump all uh, mm -hmm. for the same crime. Mm -hmm. So why not do it at the same time? Mm. Why keep coming back? Why waste uh, Atlanta's money? Mm. And mm. coming back and forth in jail and putting people in jail, feeding people. I'm talking with the jury and things sure. like that. Sure. Let's do it all at one time in the economics. Mm. So Fannie knows what she's talking about. Let's just get it out of the way. If he would go to jail, he ain't, he ain't going down there in, in, in Atlanta jail, is he? That's where he, his ass need to go. That's what the hood dudes and all the killers in there. He ain't going hey, to that, you man. You need to learn something about black. Mac, I'm going to find out what Mac really okay. means. Okay. Yeah. My ass got adulterated. Assaulted. My ass got uh, assaulted. assaulted. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what he needs to go to My jail. My ass got assaulted. Right here I in like Atlanta. That. that would be really nice for him to go like here. It. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cr that's cruel. So he's been so cruel to black people. And that's why I don't like the black mega supporters. They don't know a damn thing that the okay. Trump crowd has ever done for them. And look what happened to the, the Enrique guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They ain't playing, they ain't playing. But some people like, some people are starting to like black people are liking Trump now. They say when he was in the army, he gave money away and he looked out for black. They that, he didn't that. give money away. That was some extended program from, uh, why you need to give somebody to give you money? What, how, why you can't work? The pandemic, well, during the pandemic, he gave away a lot well, of we money. We don't have the pandemic now. Okay, but it was happy he gave the it back The pandemic, in. don't worry about the pandemic. He oh. also, a lot of people died. The same check he signed for right. them, that he should put his name on the death certificate. Oh, oh. Okay? You're speaking, you're preaching now. I ain't preaching, I'm just telling the truth. This man in the, America, that's why comedians should be in Congress. <laughs> okay. All comedians should be in Congress. We, uh, we think, we read, we know what the social ills are, and we know how to take care of the people. What's wrong with taking care of the people? Sure. People need, take care of them. I don't give a damn. And to this day right now, what happened over in Maui? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Maui yeah. is wiped out. Yeah. Now, you can get mad at me for saying this if you want to. But I think Maui should get just as much money as the Ukraine got. Why well, wouldn't? Yeah, of course. Who get who get so, mad at that? But it ain't gonna happen, is it? Who would get mad at that? Somebody think that, unless they think Hawaiians that's the kind and of Americans. Person, that's the kind of. And first of all, let's make another thing perfectly clear. Mm -hmm. Because for me, Hawaii is foreign aid. Hawaii is not in America. I don't give a damn what y'all say. Hawaii is not in America. You fly <laughs> over three thousand miles over some water, and you you have been in Hawaii. Of course, several times. You don't times. even smell the same. You got to come do, on now. Be truthful. Mm. Smell mm -hmm. like un-American. Mm -hmm. Un-American, right? <laughs> what do you call it? The, the flowers and <laughs> the orchids right. and everything yeah. like that? It ain't the same. You get laid. Like, as soon as you go to the plane, you get laid. A lot of people don't know about oh, that. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got laid several times. Yeah, I know you did. I uh, told them that a lot of times, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know who she is. Oh, okay. just, come on, boom! The <laughs> is, that, that is. is that what it is? Yeah. I had a friend one time, so crazy, he never flown nowhere, I guess. We were going from LA, LA to Hawaii, and he asked me, was a layover? Well, <laughs> he said, we got a layover? Nigga, we can land over. That's, that's not a stupid question. Dude. Why ain't that a stupid question? 
if you fly southwest, you're going to have a stop. Oh, hell no. Come on, don't do that. Don't do that, southwest, man. Don't do that. <laughs> they can only do 20 minute flights, 30 minute flights. I had a, a, a one stop flight at the same airport. <laughs> what did southwest. You? We we are gate forty one. They close it all. They push back. Right. We run run up and run the gate forty two. <laughs> yeah, we had to change. No, but <laughs> just a joke. I but no, no, I get, it, I get. It. But yeah, yeah, but it, it, it's just a layover. I'm like, it's a layover. People ask you all kind of stupid, stupid questions, shit, and especially stupid. at the airport. You ever, and when they ask you, Mr. Wallace, what you doing at the airport? Oh, I'm I'm looking buying a car. I'm buying a sofa. <laughs> yeah, I'm buying right. a sofa for the living room. You know my. My, my wife got, you know, we're getting a new house here. We need a sofa. They help people ask you stupid ass questions. Hey, yeah, somebody say, ask you, that, are you George Wallace? I say, yes. No, you're not. I know. No, you're I, not. I know. Oh, no, no they say, not. ain't you George Wallace? You say, you right, right, you say, yes, I am. Then they say, no, you're not. And you know what really pissed me off? No. J. Anthony Brown. They call you J. Anthony Brown? They call me. That's White folks. <laughs> no, black folks. Black people think you J. Anthony Brown? Yeah. Yeah, they do. They get him, you know. Who they think you are? You look like who? I look like uh, Boris Kojo or, you know, some other, The Rock, Vin Diesel. If you smell what The Rock is cooking, Vin Diesel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you're good looking? Hell yeah, I think I look, I'm good looking. Hold on now. You don't think I'm good looking? You look all right. I ain't nobody going to write home about it. What does that mean to nothing? What the hell you mean? Write that home mean right. nothing to write home about. Right, right. Who writes I, home? I look right. It's been a long time since I wrote home. You ain't never had a home to write to. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I, I live in a trailer. I live in a trailer home. You have to move somewhere. So, so let him, my mailbox you, is always did different. You ever, did you ever live in a, <laughs> a trailer home? One time I asked that question when I was doing radio in New York City. I said, uh -huh. Are there any trailers in New York trying to be a smart ass? Uh -huh. um, Staten Island lit up. They got a lot of tra trailer homes? Yeah. Staten Island. I did, I did a show in Staten Island. I, um, I have a cousin in Albany, Georgia. You know, my family's really stupid. Do some stupid really? shit. Really? I got a cousin in Albany, Georgia. He has a brand new Lexus, but he lives in a trailer. How do you do that? Well, what's wrong with that? Because he, is he a single guy? No, he's got a wife and kids. Oh, see, when you're single, you need the Lexus to bring the girls to your trailer. So you drive Lexus in the street. That like, makes no sense whatsoever. Well, hold on. Okay, if I have a mansion and a bucket, they're not getting into the bucket to come to my house. Well, but, but if you got Lexus, they'd be like, ooh, no, that new that Lexus. No, that would be the good part if you got a bucket and you, 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 you pull up and go, holy shit. You got to get the girl in the car. They don't want to get in the car. They leave the club and see your bucket like, I ain't ride with you. A and decent girl doesn't care about no decent. I don't want decent girls at my house. That's why ain't no girls at your house. True that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rough right now. Time to get yeah. a little rough, rough. But life rough, is rough. good, you know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. look at us and here and having a good time. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. If we have a subject matter, what were we talking about? We just, I, I, I forgot. I forgot. There was so many other uh, crazy. About, we so, talked about jail and, and Trump. And right, right, like right. That, so uh, let me ask you. They uh, they talking about uh, Biden is kind of getting old there. That Kamala Kamala might take over. Well, you think that? not right. I think I think he should win and then. Uh, then he should uh, withdraw. I would, I would like that. Uh, uh, so hold on. He wins, gets in office, and then you can, you can withdraw and give it to the vice president like that? Just say, I don't want to do it. Thank you all for voting me. Yeah, I don't feel good. Oh, damn. At yeah, his age, let's you say he become president. Let's say, that's absolutely, he may be old, but his ideas are still good. Mm -hmm. He's the best candidate we have running right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone better were to run, uh, that would be cool. Right now, I don't think... Kamala is ready for America to accept her fully as to vote for her for president. To vote for her. Right? Yeah, to vote for but her. But do you think she's qualified to be the president? She's a smart lady. Yeah. Yeah, she's a smart lady. So she could get it, like, if he wins and he's like, after six months, he's like, I ain't feeling well, you know what I'm saying? My support. Yeah, yeah, my health. Yeah, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. what a iliac. She could do the, well. could do the job very well. She could do the job. And I'm, we were waiting for some other people. That Hakeem Jeffries, mm -hmm. he's an yeah. excellent choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think he's as smart as Obama. We got a guy named Wes Moore from um, from Maryland. He won the yes, governor. Yes, he's the governor of Maryland. Yeah, yeah man, he's, he's good, smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they got Look like me too. Kind of handsome. You from that same area? The there DM it is. You know what? The DMV. The DM, not the you, Department of Motor Vehicles. But it's you ever, done, you know, I want the new football team and the Commanders that, that my friend Magic Johnson is now part of. Yes, yes. Yeah. I would like for the football team to be called the Washington DMVs. The Washington DMV. The Washington that, DMV. Oh. That, that that includes everybody in the area. District of Columbia, DMVs. Maryland, and Virginia. But I'm, a scared, I'm afraid what they're going to put them D in, in, what they would call that team. The DMVs. No, I get it, but what people are going to say, they stand for, and it comes, it can well, be But what the hell is the difference? We're here in, you, in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Right, call the you Falcons. You call the Hawks and the Falcons. And but but no, one, DMVs initials. Neither one can fly, so what difference does it matter? Really? That's a, when the last time you seen the Falcons win anything? 
The Hawks Damn. can't fly. Well, you, well, Hawks are never going. This is my hometown. Well, I just tell you. Don't do that, man. You. Don't do that. They ain't never going nowhere. You got to spend some money. Your fans are looking at that camera here. I what don't you give saying. a damn. They know what I'm telling the truth. They don't have to agree with me. Everything I say, you don't have to agree. But they'll be at home, not watching the Hawks in the playoffs. Oh. Not watching. They'll be watching. That's for sure. And the Falcons too. I hope they come through this year with the new quarterback. Give them a chance because I think we can do it. Damn, but I, I don't know. The Washington DMV. They be joking like, don't make victories or well, something. Well, what about that? The, what they call right now? The Commanders, I don't like that name. Okay, well, what name do you like? Do you didn't like the Reds? Did you like the Reds? I had a problem with the Reds. Yeah, no, it, 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 it wasn't until cancel culture came and Aaron Films was hurt and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're trying to compare it to saying it's like saying the N word, like the Washington niggers. Like, come on now, it ain't the same. I like the Washington that. niggers. I like that. There's a lot of niggas can in Washington. They, can too. they play? Yeah. Oh yeah. hell yeah! Them, them niggas good. Hey, it's kind of like listen <laughs> to me. Good. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm kidding? And 20, I'm predicting in, in five years we're gonna have at least 25 black quarterbacks. We can play some ball, son. Okay. Okay. We can play some ball. Okay. I'm proud of our black people, our young black and, and tennis right now. We got Coco. Ooh, and and Coco, got, yeah, Gruff, oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Golf. Yeah, golf. She told that white woman off. Didn't she tell that white woman off? I didn't Ooh. hear it. I didn't hear it. The, the lion judge was, was tripping. Oh, I, I didn't hear it. I've been Man, working. Man, she, 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 she stopped winning her and, and, and read her but, to the point where white folks was clapping. That's so cool. That's they so agreed. Cool. But I'm glad we're, we're achieving these sports. We, we did, uh, we got, like I said, we're going to have 25 quarterbacks. We got golf. The Tiger Woods is a little older, mm-hmm. but we got a new, some new black kids come along. and. Mm-hmm. I just love it, and it's just going to be great. And just only thing, black people, hockey. We don't have hockey down because we can't. That's that's just too cold. We, that's cold water. Like that's yeah, frozen like water. Cold, yeah. That's like swimming. I can't even cross my leg. I don't swim. I, yeah, uh, but uh, black people, we're gonna do pretty good. I don't mm-hmm. know about this. These new sports they got. They got. Uh, uh, cornhole. I don't know about that sport. I don't think cornhole. black people going to do that. Oh, yeah, that's when they, they, they throw that thing in yeah, there. And the hole. pickleball. I don't know how well we're going to do in the pickleball. I ain't never heard about pickleball until Jamie Foxx. Well, you know? it's supposed to be pretty popular. What the hell? I never heard of pickleball in my life. They say he's working on, you know, getting rehabilitated, playing that's pickleball. That's what he's doing. Pickleball. What is pickleball? Do you it's know what pickleball like is? It's just like table tennis and tennis and a little smaller court. Same thing. Pick, 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 I don't, I don't know what it is. I just, what is it? Badminton. Badminton. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I was good in badminton. I was, because you hit the shuttlecock. When I was a kid, then that was a funny word to say, shuttlecock. Damn. Yeah, yeah well, he's just, just shuttlecock. That reminds me, I, had, I was dating a girl, and, and, and you know. See, 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 see how he goes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always but talking hold about on, sex. And, and, and one night we were getting And that's when she looked at, she saw your weenie so short, she said, ooh, that's a shuttlecock. No, she didn't. She grabbed my shit. She said, that motherfucker's a pickleball. Okay? Oh, pickleball. man, pickleball. Pickle- oh, man, I'm going to play you. with your pickleball. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, one thing <laughs> black people going to, one thing black people, another sport we're not going to, we're not going to do well in. What? When Will Smith uh-huh. slapped Chris Rock, okay. that slap was so popular, they got a, created a TV show called The Slap. You, you, have you heard about it? Uh-huh. The two people are slapping each other. Oh, I've seen, I've seen that. that on ESPN, shows here, yeah. right? Yeah, for real. And I don't know what we're going to ever exceed in that, because you, like, you see that one of the clips going around now, the white guy slapped the brother, and the brother went, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he really? Nah, no, the no, fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Oh, actually, I forgot I'm a Christian comedian. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, I started cussing like you know since I've been here. I started yeah. cussing on your show. Yeah, I'm so, I apologize. Yeah, then, when Will Smith did that, yeah, yeah you don't I, have to apologize. Yeah, I apologize. That went crazy, and to this day, everywhere I go, I cannot go on they stage. Still do, yeah. My preacher called me and told me that was funny. Nice, nice. My preacher called me and told me that was funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I still see it. You know, people share it on different. Yeah, places. They yeah, done dissected yeah, it and everything yeah. and stuff. Now you did, you did a great job of that. Speaking of, uh, we talk about just saying politics a little more. Um, the Republican Party, I don't know, their leader, man. This guy named, I don't know if you've seen him lately, man. He kind of, uh, guy named Mitch McConnell. Guy named Mitch McConnell. Just, you know, what do you think about it? He just, he gets up and gives speeches and just freezes. You know, just up there just not saying nothing. Mitch McConnell. You know, the guy, he's, he's, he's with the uh, Republican, uh, he's a, Really, really, really? You got the Mitch McConnell now? You like that? <laughs> Is that what you got? To, you got the Mitch McConnell going on right there? Wake up, man! Come on, man! You're, you're on the show. <laughs> that, dude, that dude froze. <laughs> yeah, he just froze, yeah. Right, he's too old. Come I on. Think you know, that's another thing I think about Congress. The 65, get the fuck out of there. There you go. Yeah, I don't give a damn who you are. Just get up and get out of there. And, like, and the bus, there should be a bus every day. When you turn six, every day, when you turn 65, hop on the bus, Gus. And put Clarence Thomas under that bus. <laughs> I you think he's like, another yeah, like guy. I don't, like I don't like him. I just don't, I don't like him. And I told some people, five white people that I don't like. I don't like Donald Trump. 
unlike uh, 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 the lady from Atlanta, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Okay, yeah, there's yeah. a guy from Ohio named Jim Jordan. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the third white people down there, and that's three right, white right, people right, unlike. Right, right. Unlike um, you know, Clarence Thomas, and you said, well, oh, oh damn, you know, like Tucker Carlson. No, I'm talking about white. It, uh, it was Hershey Walker, but now it's Tim Scott. Ooh, That's five yeah, white Tim people Scott, I don't yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, Tim Scott, yeah, yeah. You don't get no whiter than, I did it on Atlanta. I wrote a joke about Atlanta. You don't get no whiter than, you can't get as white as Clarence Thomas. Mm. Ain't never done a damn thing for us. I said it. So it the same way I went off on, on Will, I went off on all of the, uh, all of the uh, uh, on, Thomases. On, on the Thomases, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That was, that, that was uh, ridiculous. Um, the but, but, the but speaking of Tucker Carlson, I didn't like, uh, you can, we can mildly touch I never it. liked him. I don't watch anything on Fox. Okay. So right. I don't like Tucker Carlson. I don't like anybody over there in this yeah. show. I, we ain't got to talk about it, but he brought some stuff about Obama. I ain't like, okay. But he, no. One guy said he, he was romantic with Obama. And I was like, who, who, who says that? I feel like now it's clout chasing. People can say anything on the internet. Well, this guy said he had a gay a, relationship but with Obama. Let me tell you Obama. something. Who's responsible for all of that? Okay. Donald Trump is responsible. I blame him for everything. Really? I blame Donald Trump for everything. The meanness of things that we've never seen in the past right. 15, 20 years. Here right. comes Trump telling people. And other white people feel like, well, if Trump can say it, I can say it. When you've seen this much hate in your life. That's true. And I think hate is right up there with murder. Ooh. ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. He's right up there with murder. But, but I feel like it was always underneath, underlining. He didn't open the gate, the floodgates. That's he, what I just said. Right. Oh, damn. Well, you have a heat of new hate. It, it's been out there, man. Been out there. Okay, you say you blame him. You blame him for letting it come out. Okay. Isn't that what I just said? You get keep back repeating to your, the same <laughs> shit. Get back to your Mitch McConnell. I like you better when you Mitch McConnell. One more time. Mitch McConnell. Okay. <laughs> you stupid. Right. So, <laughs> something I don't hate is you, you got a new sitcom, bro. Let's talk about that a little bit, man. I can't you talk know. about it. You can't talk about it? No, I'm on strike right now, and I, when I do talk about it, because ah. you know you can get in trouble talking about the okay. show. Okay, and okay, And it was about, uh, uh, okay. it was, um, in any case, it's me and Norman Lear. Right, right. And I we wanted can. to uh, do, I wanted to reboot Sanford and Son. Right. And we couldn't do that, so okay, I okay. thought about we'll it. Talk about and, it. And I when, when the actor's on strike, you're an actor. You're acting right now like a good guy. Okay. So how do you feel about the actors doing, what, what do you weigh in on that whole strike thing, man? I think the strike, strike is warranted. Okay. But that show's out there called Streaming. And it's like my TV show, I got one salary, I got a lot of money, but it's the only money I'm gonna get. Mm. But they will repeat that show. Right. And they are repeating shows now in streaming. That's what streaming is all about on all these TV shows. Mm-hmm. And nobody's getting paid. But the network is getting paid. We need to get paid too. There's a lot of people, what we call residuals, right. if I remember, because we are performing a game. Right. Why not get paid a game? I got a check for residual, 13 hours, 44 cents, man. Jeez. You did well. I did a movie with you. Right. What was it called? The Wash. The Wash. I get a check every week, 43 cents. Woo! And the stuff costs 66 cents I see why your shirt now. you're wearing. Yeah, you know, why shouldn't we get more money? <laughs> huh? Oh, well, no, you should get more. Because one thing is... No, I'm serious I mean, about the 43 cents. No, and I believe you. I'm serious about that shirt, too. Um, Are you talking about my shirt I got on right now? I think that's 43 cents, right? That's what you spent the one of the checks on? You know, that's my homeless guy, right? didn't. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know what the I'm shirt didn't cost that much. I'm still cheap. Listen, I make a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed, okay, okay financially, all right, all right. but I will buy things on sale. I guarantee you this shirt costs no more than 7 or $10. I guarantee you too. But look at the <laughs> shit you wear. Man, what you talking about? Man, this, is a, this is a lovely shirt right you, here. Let me tell you something. It's a classy saw, shirt, brother. I saw that shirt yesterday in the okay. window at okay. Phillips, Phillips Plaza. Phillips Plaza. Exactly. It's I know, expensive. I know, I know it's a $700, uh. but I'm saying sometimes you see people, you don't know what they're wearing. You right. know how much it costs. Like that shirt, I know it's seven fifty, right. and uh, uh, people don't know that. But yeah, I wear classy stuff. It don't look classy, but you you, you just cause you pay for it. You look stuff. like you was naked and put Velcro strips, and you went through the Goodwill store, and anything stuck, you kept. Oh my God! Boom! <laughs> I'm not gonna join <laughs> with you today, but your poor ass. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Speaking of you know, you know, you used to be, we used to go to your your mama oh, house. We had order large, large, a large pizza. We had to eat right. it on the porch. Hell, you remember that? <laughs> no, I don't remember those days. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, you do. Yeah, you but, do. I'm gonna tell you what. Since you talking about rich and poor, I went on Celebrity Worth to see what you was worth. Now I'm worth seven million. Went one, one point two million on another one, mm-hmm. eight million. Mm-hmm. I pulled yours up. And that mother, your net worth was one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Nigga, all you've been in the business for twenty. 
50 years and you got $150,000, man, if you don't get, get this nigga if some I shirts, man. If I was making real money, I would be on, uh, uh, <laughs> on uh, Jimmy uh, uh, Kimmel. Okay. Oh. But as long as I still in this show. Well, you keep that hundred fifty thousand. Hundred fifty thousand. Your net worth. Your whole net worth. Is a hundred and fifty. That's what it says online. It's and I'm wearing that. Yeah, yeah. You wearing seventeen, eighteen dollars worth all that. I don't mind that. You know why? I'm still blessed. It's not how much money you make. Thank you. It's how you enjoy your life while you're living. I know that's right. I got a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the bank. Been working forty-seven years selling jokes. A hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm doing good. I'm worth seventeen million. And guess what? If I had $150,000, right. doing what I'm doing right, right now, I'd be just as happy. Would you? I swear to God I would. Man, who are you fooling? Nobody. I'm telling <laughs> you the truth right now. I love what I do, and I, would, I wish everybody could do what I do. And I, and I teach young kids now, make sure you enjoy your life. You know, just because you got a degree in marketing uh, uh, doesn't mean you got to do right. statistical analysis the rest of your life. You might enjoy uh, arranging flowers or fixing refrigerators, right. but make sure you enjoy, enjoy life. life. Get on an airplane, go to another country. Young people listening right now, make sure you do this. You want to be a better person? Travel. travel. My first degree was in transportation. Travel. See how other people live. There's good people everywhere, even in communist countries. Right, you right, want, right. See, when you go, we grew up, you go to China right now, mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm. so ill-educated, right. uneducated. Yeah. And I went to China about 20 years ago. I'm thinking you're going to get off the plane. ding a ding a ding 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 Rich ass people in oh, China. Come on. And I was in Hong Kong. As soon as I walked into the hotel, Mr. Wallace, how have you been? We've been waiting for you. I'm going, they got the English down good. I was so dumb. I didn't know English. Uh, Hong Kong was a British colony. Right. And that's their first language. Oh, okay. But some of the cities over there, like Shanghai, Shanghai is three times larger than New York City. Mm -hmm. Shanghai is three times more modern than New York City. Mm. You'd be surprised if and the people in China they don't watch me like they do in Beverly Hills. Right, right, right. And since, well, they, we're, and we're, since they didn't, well, we're we're we're, 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 we're programmed to believe America is the greatest place of all time. We it's are a great program. Place, huh? and yeah, it right, is. right. And it, 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 I don't know where the greatest, but it's a great place. Mm -hmm. I'm doing great. I've traveled the world. Mm -hmm. You would be. Well, surprised. you've been to Cleveland. You ain't been nowhere. You ain't been to Cleveland. I've been to Chicago. It. I've been to Detroit twice. Seattle. You've been to Seattle. Now, don't tell man, me I ain't travel you, now. Oh my, that doesn't cheer me. My okay. goodness, you uh, go to Spok Did you go to Spokane? No, no, I didn't do that. No, 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 oh, I didn't do man. that. Oh man, God, that's good. I didn't see out of Washington. You All I did, yeah. You ever been to uh, Albany? Albany, Georgia. I don't. There's two of them, right? Yeah, Albany, New York, and um, Albany, Georgia. Okay. Albany, New York is the capital. You ain't know that was the capital of New York. <laughs> Albany. Really? I'm, I'm here to teach you, brother. At any age you can learn. You can be 95 and still learn. All right. What's the capital of Tennessee? They don't have a capital. It's Tennessee, nigga. Okay? That's true. Uh, that's true. I just wanted to. No, I just wanted to <laughs> right, right. They don't know it in Tennessee, okay? You know, What's the capital? You don't Tennessee even know the capital of, of, of Delaware. That's uh, that's where you're from around that area. I don't even know Delaware. You're from Dover the is the city in, in Delaware. Now, you see what we're doing right now? And these young kids are laughing at us. They don't remember we used to play games like that, right. knowing that you had to know every capital of every state. And I bet these young people have no idea. Ask that lady right there, what's the capital of Florida? She wouldn't be able to tell you right now. She know. Ask her. Orlando. Man, oh she had I was in Orlando yesterday. <laughs> uh, no. Is that the capital? Yes. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Do you know the capital of South Dakota? Wait, 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 wait. Did you say the capital is Orlando? No, it's not. Huh? It's not. It's not. No, you just did that for the joke. It's, yeah. it's okay. Tallahassee. We know that. <laughs> See, she didn't know. I bet she doesn't know uh, uh, Vermont. What's, who knows Vermont? Ben and Jerry's, okay, that's the capital. Ooh, man. Uh, you ain't know that. You ain't know that. You know, I got ooh, you. Ben and Jerry's, let me put this away because we're talking about Ben and Jerry's right now. Yeah. They got a new ice cream. It's, I don't know what it's new, but it's called uh, Dublin Mudslide. Dublin Mudslide? Dublin Mudslide. I've heard that. Man, it is so, it's a mixture of chocolates and cookies and, mm. and, and, and fudge and all kinds of stuff like that. And look at me. And I, I need, uh, I know I'm fat. I, was with, I, was with, uh, I did a show with. Uh, Dave Chappelle, his okay. 50th birthday around the corner. Okay. I was at Madison Square That's Garden with nice. him. Uh -huh. And then Dave, if you've seen him lately, he's gotten in his shape. Right, right. Buff, man. And he's trying to take me to his uh, trainer. And his trainer is $250 an hour. 
Yeah. I said, for two, I ain't picking up shit. For show two, me, right, right. show me what you want me to do. Right, go ahead. You work it out. Go ahead. You can do it. Come on, give me another. Give me one more. Come on. You can do it. I ain't lifting up shit. Is this trainer in shape? Because I hate when I see trainers that aren't in shape. I hate people. It's not like a hairdresser don't got the worst hair in the world. Yeah, yeah. Dennis got the cavities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All kind of crazy stuff. What is it? What is it? Is this? Is his trainer built up rock hard? Like you said, I want to be like him. Man, I walked the hell out there. Two hundred fifty dollars an hour. That three times a week. That's seven hundred and fifty dollars a week. I'm in good shape. You how many? You know what's two hundred fifty dollars an hour? That's forty pints of uh, chunky uh, monkey. Uh, right, right. Uh, doubling. And look at me. I'm in good right. shape for eating. And, uh, well, and you know, like Ben and Jerry's round shape. Yeah, yeah. Right, round is a shape. I'm gonna put some gum in my mouth. Right, right, yeah. Do, yeah, yeah. Help us out, cause it's late night, early morning breath right now. Going, okay, I don't know what. Okay. <laughs> you got left up a breath. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your breath like you're a security guard. You wake up at three in the morning. Uh, yeah, it's uh, like your breath is so bad. I was talking to you the other day. Well, your mama's breath. Right, okay. And I, I was talking to her the other day. I just hung up the phone. <laughs> I smelled your breath one time. I'm still old. I'm still old. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm, you got it. I'm gonna let you have that one. Day. But I, you know, do you know the, the capital of South Dakota? What, what, what's the name of South Dakota? Capital of South Dakota? I'll, I'll give you anything in this room if you know the answer. And I'm supposed to know. Yeah. South Dakota. The, the capital of South Dakota is South Dakota? No, North Dakota. You got that. No, I want South. Give me what it starts with. The letter starts with. No, I ain't doing that. This ain't no game. I, I used to know everybody, but no. right now I'm, I'm getting older, so my, my it, memory isn't. Just think of it. It's right in front of your face. Something with lights. You? Uh, no. Pierre? You? There it is, Pierre. Uh huh. Pierre's the capital of South Dakota. How that? I know it's pretty quick, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I had to give you all them damn clues right in front of your face. Well, nobody would have caught that. You'd have been looking around for something else. But I'm quick. You said lights. You can ask lights. Me anything. Lights. To I, know, I know a lot. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I'm not good on politics. Right. But I, but I, but I know a lot. You know a lot. You know mm -hmm. a lot of useless information. No, I'm, what I know is uh, <laughs> to help you and help other people. Okay. That's what mm -hmm. you say. I'm I where I want to be right now. I don't need no help. You do need some help. What? We need to write some jokes. Together, really? me and you. Have some I, I, got, I got a TV show idea. I already told you, man. We'll, we'll talk about it. I told mm -hmm. you, man. I think it's great. If that sitcom I'm doesn't I'm tired of people saying before. stupid shit like, if I can do it, you can do it. That is bullshit. Stop telling people that if I can do it, you can do it. Everybody can't do what I do. Right. People can't get on uh, Public speaking like we do is the most feared thing to do in life. It is. It most is. people would rather die. I right. can't, like you take it, you save your receipts all year for the counter. Okay. And you put them in that shoe box. Mm -hmm. And you take him to the counter, and the shoe, and the counter's going like this, and going right. like that, and going. How you do that shit? Right. I can't do that. I can't do numbers, but go up on stage and talk crap. Oh yeah. And lie. Yeah. So stop saying, if I can do it, you can do it. Really. And I'm tired of preachers telling people that. I'm tired of. I'm getting mean. No, you ain't just. I am, cause I'm, sometimes I see preachers asking for a lot of money, and, and all the money's going to them, and, mm. and some of the people coming to churches on buses and things. Mm. And when do they ever give back? We're not able to give back. This Sunday, you, we're going to take up the money, but we're going to divide it amongst everybody. Ooh. That's, I, I should be a preacher make me some real money. The mega churches do that sometimes, I thought. Name one. Name a church that ever gave back. Kept your dollar? Um, mm. But I tell you who. <laughs> who? Name me a church that ever. What's the name, did? Who? Mm. Damn. Eddie Long? Bishop Eddie Long, that's what I just said. Bishop Eddie Long gave back. He gave something back. Oh, well, okay. That's not nice. Well, yeah, she wrote really That's wrong. a friend of mine. Right. Eddie Long was a very good friend of mine. Uh, I told you about the time I went to his church, right? No. Nah. I didn't tell you about the time I went to Eddie Long's church. I went to, it was on Easter Sunday, and oh. it, was, it was an Easter church full of sold out. It was like Packed six, out. It was sold out. Mm -hmm. It was 6,000 6, people. The church was sold out. And Eddie Long had me in the church with an Easter Sunday and on the stage with him okay. and holding his hand. And he was just hugging me, and I'm just going. And he said, Brother Wallace, go ahead and sing a song. And I'm going, oh, hell no. He said, sing a song. And you know what came to me? He touched me. No, you oh, didn't. he touched that. me. Don't say that. Oh, oh, the joy that floods my soul. You're wrong And he with hugged this. me again. When he hugged me, I said, something <laughs> happened. <laughs> and now I know <laughs> who. You didn't do that. He touched, he did, he gone. Uh. His son came to me and said, you have got to do a documentary with him. And, and I said, you gotta laugh. If Eddie Long was alive today, he, he would laugh at that joke. He yeah. touched me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he touched I'm many talking about folks. all yeah. the preachers. Damn, all of them? All of them. Remember that, one there. got robbed. Remember that story about the guy that came in and robbed him right in front of the that everybody? Was, uh, that was uh, in New York. No, that was in Michigan. 
No, they have Brooklyn, New Brooklyn York too. too. Yeah. It happened to the gas station. Bishop, Bishop, what's the name of the song? And, 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 uh, I don't know that one. Uh, I don't know the guy. He's one of them, one of them wine, wine and brothers. Oh, really? Bishop, Mario Wine, wine and Marvin Wine. Marvin Wine. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It happened to him at a gas station. I said, now he know how it feels to be taking people money. Uh-uh, don't do that. I did it. He's given a service. Listen to me. For his money. And it's good, too. Right. Oh, I love him. He's funny. Yeah. So I, I make jokes. You know, if I make a joke, you're going right, to laugh right, right, right along. Right, right, right. Sure, you know? sure, sure, sure. Man, damn. So, um, all right, all right. Well, that's, uh, you know, we had another sit-down. I love having a sit-down with you, man. You, well, you, this time is a little different than before. Before, we was doing jokes. And, and I'm going ah, like yellow pad because I, yeah, I thought maybe I couldn't do some new jokes man, with you. Man, what you got in there, man? You ain't got nothing I, I don't have. I don't have. I want to judge. I want three new jokes from you. What you talking about right now? Okay, three new jokes I'm talking about. Right, first of all, I'm pissed off about the dogs. What dogs? Support dogs. What are you calling people? To serve? Not service dogs, support dogs. Emotional, emotional support. I'm okay. sick and tired of getting on the airplane and these dogs are fighting each other now. And sometimes the dog is this big and right. taking up a whole seat. And one day, <laughs> other night I was on the airline and it was dark. The plane was dark. Okay. And this dog, black dog, was had moved out into the middle of the aisle. Right. So I said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the call button for the flight attendant to come. And I knew the flight attendant was going to trip on that dog. Uh uh. Yes, I did. You're yes, dirty I did. For that. Yeah. But I'm t- I, I hate that. And I'm, I'm tired of the. Um, Support dogs. I was at the Olive Garden the other night. Right. The lady came with a big ass support. What the hell is stressing your ass out at the Olive Garden? You can't handle these breadsticks and some shit. Here. You got to bring your dog down here to help you with the damn. Right, right. You're just stressing your ass out. The salad bowl going around. What the fuck is stressing you out at the? I'm sitting here trying to eat my lasagna. Your dog at the next table licking his balls. I don't need to see no shit damn. like that. You might be eating meatballs. Man. I don't what the hell? Because no man want to see somebody do something that they can't do for themselves. Hell no. You know really, what I'm saying? Really, really. <laughs> Okay, okay that's joke get, number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's pretty, that's pretty okay, good. On, so you me. kind of frustrated with the, the dogs. It's, it's yeah, I'm tired of these dogs. damn dogs everywhere. Okay. Going to, they put, put them have a dog plane. Put them okay. on their own plane, yeah. Put them down the luggage for the bottom. Yeah. How about that? And the babies, put them down there too. Oh, no, don't do that now. Not the, ba- not the babies, put man. Put them damn babies down there and, 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 and with the dogs. With the you puppies. were a baby once and you cried? Then I went on no airplane either. <laughs> well, they didn't You're starting then. to piss They're me off, by the way. The canoe you was on, that you you cried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, ho- that was no canoe. That, <laughs> that was a real that ship. horse and buggy. We you was on. The, we were on the Pinto. Okay, uh, we were on the okay. Pinto. Yeah, so real. Y'all I traveling know. west on the hard Cupcakes road. Cupcakes I got down here. I know I wrote something new. Y'all wrote something new this morning too. Did you really? I love to write new jokes. I know. I that just thing. think I think it's just great to write. When do new jokes come to you at? When you're in the shower or in the toilet? It depends on where I am. Uh, uh, in the shower, I get all my mostly notes. sleep. You sleep and come up with new jokes? When I wake up and I have to get up and write them down because the idea would just go out of your head just like that. And then sometimes you're writing them down and you go, what the hell was I thinking about? I've done that a couple of times. I did that this morning about the crime. I just wrote that this morning. A lot about of crime. The, There's you know, a lot of crime in Atlanta. Yeah, I did you're talking that. about Atlanta crime or, or just crime period? I was just talking about crime period. Like when, uh, crime period, like people walking, especially like in New York City, right. and people are walking and texting. Mm-hmm. People are walking and texting. Sometimes yeah. you walk against the light and you're going in the light. Oh, your light is red. Oh, oh. I think you should be able to just knock the fuck out of them. What the? Just knock the next time they text me, they text me 911 looking up. Just bump a little bit, mm-hmm. bow it. Little thing. Okay, let's see what okay, else I okay, got in there. Okay, okay, okay. I love new jokes, and that's my job for the next one. The next, the next few weeks is just write new jokes. You might me. be the king of jokes. You probably got a million jokes, man. At least, at least. Okay. Some kind of make a living with 10 jokes. Well, and you, can, you can do that. And who is Ricky Stewart? You know Ricky Stewart. Who? Ricky Stewart is Rob Stewart's brother. You mean her Rod Stewart? Uh, I had a joke hey, on you Ricky. Think uh, I'm I, I don't know who it is, but it's something like that. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It was. It, it, I, I like to do clips of the week. Did you see that guy the said this, the, the clips of the week, like on IG? Okay. Did you see the IG where the guy had? They said this is the proper way to eat a cinnamon roll, and this big fat white guy says that is not the way you eat a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. And most people right. can't say cinnamon. Yeah. And I and I, and I and it's clip of the week. I want to say cinnamon. Do you have a hard word you can't say? I usually couldn't say. I used. I couldn't say pedest- pedestrian. Pedi- I- Hold on, you couldn't or you still can't? You can just shit. I, what are you doing? You just shit. One more time. What is the word? Pedestrian. You can't. You, don't say I used to not say I, I used still to, can't used to say, say it. pedestrian. No, they know used to. Pedestrian. Say I still can't say I it. I still can't say pedestrian. Yeah, I can't say specific. I, I know you can. Specific. Nobody can say specific. I be saying Pacific and shit. Specific. That's what you call the name of the ocean when they ask you what's the name of the ocean on the other side. You say specific. The specific. <laughs> yeah, you're so damn dumb. How dumb am I? You so dumb. Right, really, really, <laughs> really. <laughs>
I can say pedestrian. <laughs> I can say yeah. pedestrian, pedestrian, pedestrian. You're so dumb. Your mama used to tell you to go to the store and get uh, get, a, get a, a lettuce, and you came back with cabbage and shit. You know. Oh, right damn. Damn. Okay. You're okay. the one in fire. I want to do a joke on them. The first concert I ever saw start on time. You're the one in fire. First concert. Yeah. I ever went to start at seven o'clock. They were off at eight. And they were in bed by nine. That's one show you know you're going. Well, yeah, that's, the older the act is, the more on time they're going to be because mm -hmm, they need to get mm -hmm, home. Because mm -hmm. your show started like 8 o'clock, and I heard you be on stage at like 7.55. <laughs> one day you're going to say something funny, I swear to okay, God. Okay, okay, what day? Wednesday or you think next Monday? Atlanta's <laughs> biggest airport in the world. I got to do a joke on that. Atlanta, Georgia's biggest airport in the world. Yeah, it is. Oh, you know one of the things? I want your restaurant here in Atlanta two nights ago. No boo? Yeah, no booze, good up, upscale uh, Asian food and right like that and sushi and stuff. Guess what I found out? What about Nobu? A lot of beautiful women hang out in there. Yeah, of course. The ladies love Nobu. Right. But not a lot of black guys. Okay. And the few that are in there come in with the beautiful black women. And there's more black women in this restaurant I've ever seen in my life. Mm. And it's just, well, men ain't going to, we don't do well right. with the sushi. Right. You know, a girl one time asked me to take her there. She said, Take me there. I said, no boo. That's, it, that's, we, that's, we that's the joke I said to him. No boo. <laughs> no boo. No boo. No, we, we're going to the Waffle House. No boo. Right. There's levels no, to this, not, okay? Not today. You're a Waffle House boo. Mm -hmm. Not a no boo. <laughs> a commercial. Oh, you know something I want you to know? Now, how would I know what you want me to know? Sound there you go like again. That's what I did. That's I that crazy stuff. Say, you know what I was thinking? If I knew what the <laughs> fuck you was thinking, you wouldn't have to tell me, would you? Exactly. I like to so We're writing new jokes okay. right now, okay? All right, we're together. So, M&M's. Trust me. I love M&M's. You love Next time, when you take them out of the bag, if you can afford to buy them. Right. I was at the airport. You want the nuts day. or not the nuts? I can with the nuts. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, like the one, I don't eat the other kind. You are one nasty ass. Well, hold on, I'm not being nasty. I like you the one You just like nuts. nuts. That's what you no, said. I say. No, no, I, I, no, I mean, nuts are good. I mean, they're healthy for you. They're healthy for you, but I'm saying, I want to know what bag you're talking about. Sometimes you with feel the nuts. like a nut. Right. You, you, ever, you ever eat the m and without the nuts? You know, it's too much chocolate. Okay, M&M's are good. They're both okay, good. Go ahead. Yeah. Finish m and I want you to try this out. Okay. And I tried this several times. Okay. When you're eating M&M's, uh -huh. you cut the little corner yeah. and you try to get two or three to come out. Uh, a little bit, a couple of them. They three. come out. Two nuts couples. at a time. No. Oh. You'll find out your two blues will come out at the same time. Two browns will come out at the same time. Same time. Every now and then there's a little, a little uh, a fluster of another color. But watch and see. It's kind of like they're segregated up in there. You try it and see. What you laughing at? You. Got too much time on your hands. Let, you got time to look at. I'm, what, I'm what telling kind of, you, this what is kind of M&Ms come out the color. What, what is you? What, the browns what? hang out together inside that pack. So you saying blues, you saying it's kind of racial up in there, and they kind of stay themselves. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. You got a lot of time on your hands. You see conspiracy mean. things. Oh, you probably a conspiracist. A who? A conspiracist. There's a lot of words there. You know the word I got to work on. Worser. That's well, yeah, I get that. Cause you know, is this? Do you think <laughs> who was worser, Bush or Trump? Bush or Trump? Was more, who was more worser? Well, I like worser's sauce, so it don't matter which one. I, don't you like worser's or sauce? It's not worser's. It's what's this shit? What's the shit? Sin, what's the sin? What's the shit? Where is the shit? I'm working on Where is the shit? How about that? Yeah, Give I'm me where to shoot the sauce. Like, at. I'm working on things like uh, more worser. What more there's, worser. There's, there's, there's better. There's shorter. There's longer. Why not worser? Worstest. Oh, my God. It's a worsen. It's a worsen when you worster with the worstest. There was more worser than both of them. There it is right there. See, I'm trying See, to boy, your, your English is getting better. Well, I studied. You know, I Since went to they night shaved you down and let you out the, out the, well, out the cage, well, you're all right now. I went to night school. It's not that I had to go. It's just that we lived so far away that. You know, <laughs> it was a night by the time you got there. there. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Moving. What? Moving. Moving? Got, moving? Moving is the worst thing you could ever do in life. You ever move? I move a lot of times. I like moving. Don't you, when you move, you find shit that don't even belong to you. Now, now that's a good part. But what do you do? Pack it up. I keep it up. Move on to the next yeah. location. And moving is expensive, too. Is it? Yeah, you got to yeah. go down there and buy boxes and all that right. stuff. But moving uh, boxes cost, what, 12 13 12 It can be. Five, you need eight, 18 well. of them. But you know what I do? I be thinking. What you be thinking? I go down and ask the stock person, how much does the box cost that the boxes came in? You mean the grocery store? As yeah, the store? wherever. I okay. said, how much at Home Depot? Where, right. How much does the box cost that the boxes come in? He said, well, you can have that one. Right. I said, well, let me help you finish replenishing I love shelf. it, boy. You ain't nothing. You got to be thinking, when you move. Yeah, you, you might move. only have 150000 in your account, man. That's cheap uh, as hell. I got $150,000. Yeah. I mean, I, I paid to buy the day. I got $8 million. I'm proud of you. Okay. And I got seven. I got one point seven. another one. So I don't know what, which one I'm going to pick. I'm, I'm going to roll with the $8 million right now. So that's what I like about you. Yeah, what? You look like shit. 
but you got $8 million in the bank. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do some of these new jokes. Do you, mm -mm -mm. you talk about you, making money? You talk about me so bad. Yeah, on I got to write that word, sir. And there's no word that's, you know, Sloan is not a word? He had Sloan down. Well, yeah, yeah. Why not? Well, what about. Blue, you blown. He was blown away. <laughs> he didn't have Sloan. And? He Sloan down. You got to say Sloan. Flown? I flown. I flown. I'm, you proving my point. Flew or flown? If you flew or you flown, which one do you do? When you come somewhere, somebody says, what do you, how do you get? I flown here. I flew here. Would you flown or you flew? It depends on how you take it. I flown. You flown you before? Flew. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, I flew. I, I ain't, ain't going to flown for I nobody. I have six million miles on Delta, so I've definitely flown. You flew too. <laughs> I have flown. That's about the worst conversation we done had since we've been That's talking. That's okay with me. Sometimes worse than people, people, people like, you know. Yeah. That's a word, man, for it. Holy cow. Okay. All right. So cool. I like what you're doing. Anything else you want to talk about? Because no. we can talk about anything. I know, I know we can, but you, you, you have a whole bunch of stuff. I, I, I play this game with somebody. Let's do this with you. We're going to end this with this, man. I like this. I like this game. We call this, I don't know. I'm going to use this word. You could make it say nicer. I don't want to use the word hoish and broish with you. I'm going to say a guy, you can see guys doing this, or you shouldn't see guys doing this. Okay. okay? So we're going to go with no go or yo. Yo, bro. How yo, about that? Yo, yo bro. Yo, bro means you, you agree with guys yo, doing bro. it. Yo, okay. bro. Or no, bro. You got to deal. Go. Okay, no, bro. No, bro. Now, this is grown men. No, bro. Or yo bro. Before you even start, no bro. Okay. No bro and yo and no boo. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you know, because you're not with the young kids, but whatever. Let's go with this. Okay, let's go with this. A grown man owns a small electric car. Is that a cool thing? Yo bro or no bro? Grown man. Yo bro. Whatever, whatever you whatever. Electric car, big man and no, 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 I got one. But yours is your small or an extra like one yeah, small? It doesn't matter. My what? It's a small. There you go back into asking sex questions. Man, wait, we, <laughs> well, we, we heard about that, but mm -hmm. let's talk about that. So you, you're I, I got, a, I got a small, I got a, uh, what you call that car? A well, smart car? A smart car. I'm in LA. You're you too dumb, man, to have a smart car. You know, that's the thing about it. You sit in the traffic, <laughs> you put your smart watch on your smartphone, drink a bottle of smart water, so right. you track and look like a dumbass. There it is. Okay, we'll go, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll mm -hmm. go with that. All right, how about this? A man getting a tattoo in the back of his ear. That's left up to the person. Speaking of that, have you ever, no, I haven't. Took your thumb and rubbed the back of your ear. Ooh, smell and then it. Smell it. Ooh. Oh my God, what the fuck? No, yeah, yeah. Do that right now. I, uh, oh my, where the hell did that come from? I've been wanting to do that joke. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> I wrote a smell, it smell like, like your it. mouth, okay? Put some gum on there. Okay. okay. What the, what's, what's wrong with that man over there? These kids are walking around here. You do that one time. Funk. Let me tell you something. Do that. And one day you're going to go like, holy shit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's, it's terrible. Okay. Med a, a, a pedicure and a manicure. Men get Yo, bro. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I had to, after COVID, I had to get a pedicure. I went to Home Depot, I had to get a jackhammer and some yeah, sandpaper. Why don't you go to a blacksmith? Because I don't like no smiths. Oh, okay, there you go. Especially the black ones. Okay. I don't like no smiths. <laughs> okay. I don't like okay. smith. I don't like none of this. Okay. What about a facial? Getting a facial? Do it. I, just, I used to have a facial. I was in makeup doing my TV show every morning at 6 o'clock. Uh -huh. And I had to shave every day. I had five haircuts every day. You ever do a TV show? No. They're on you like crazy, man. And so, um, so the the facial it removes the pores and all the black. I hair. need to go right now. I need to go get a facial right now. Can There's you nothing wrong with looking good. Well, you obviously don't care about that. Um, have you ever thought about getting a facial where they remove the face, and that, that my eyes, nose, mouth? Just get rid of that and then and start just over. Take it off and start. I would like to have that. I would like to be. <laughs> I like they call that a makeover. I like to have a makeover. Oh, wait. I like anything. When I go and I tell people, like a TV show, a real TV show uh -huh. that has makeup department, uh -huh. I'm just saying. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'm telling them, put me as much as makeup. I want to look as good as I can on TV. I do. I don't mind. So you makeup. don't care about this TV because you. This ain't real TV. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, you ain't right for that, man. Man. <laughs> but it's good TV. It, well, it's fun, and people get to see you, millions it's of people, fantastic. man. fantastic. I appreciate you coming on here, man. I love talking to you. Just kicking it with sometimes, man. We, we, no. It was a lot of funny stuff, man. You're always funny on the show, man. You and I like are that. an enjoyable man to work with. Just decent conversation like we had today. Mm -hmm. you know, we could have gotten into more subjects no, and things man, like that. No, man, come on. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff, man. We didn't talk about anything today. Yes, we did. We, had, uh, we just... You talked about the, the guy going to prison, the Cuban dude, Trump. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff, man. We really? done, done nailed down a whole bunch of The Burning Festival, like, I don't know. How did you get invited to that? Isn't that young kids acting stupid? I'm rich. I remember I got $150,000 yeah, there. Okay. 
I do what I want to do. I got my own private plane. I was pulling up the other day. Some idiot went up there and put de rope Delta on top of it. Pissed me off, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, well, for your plane, does because Delta stands for don't ever leave the airport. And that, yo, yo, you might put your thing in the museum because I've seen your plane. Okay? Amelia Earhart wouldn't want to fly on that. <laughs> <laughs> she did. And that's why she's gone, okay? <laughs> that's why. They found a plane, okay? He got it where she was going. <laughs> uh, ain't talking about it. Ain't about it. Yo, Amelia George Earhart. Wallace, thank you so much for coming and gracing my show again, man. I appreciate it's you, man. Lovely. And yeah, next man. time we come back, we'll have yeah. some more fun. Come on, man. We you have fun, man. You need to know man. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. It's always a pleasure with you and your staff. I appreciate and I that. And uh, I appreciate your guests. Uh, and, um, yeah. You got one guest coming in. He may be here before me. He may have already been here. Okay. La Lavelle Crawford. Yep, 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 yep. He came and, too. Mm -hmm. And then people, if you're watching, mm -hmm. and make sure you sign up and uh, for uh, Pierre's uh, yeah notification and all. Yeah. You know, subscribe and and enjoy Tell them people yourself. there. That's your camera. Tell them people there okay, to subscribe. Hey everybody, I'm George Wallace, and you need to know if you want to have some fun and just sit down and relax, have a great evening. And sometimes it's not all about jokes. It's about living and life. And you can learn something every day. When you stop learning, you stop living. Mm. And so those are the five L's in my life. Laughing, learning, living, lie, but lie. Oof. Oh, lie. I love to lie. Make sure you lie. <laughs> really? Sure, oh, you got to lie. I love to lie. Life is a lie. Everything is a lie. That's my new bit. Everything in life. They got a thing on now. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a male enhancement drug. It's called Enzyme. Supposed to make a man thicker, longer, harder, fatter. Right. Yeah. If it was true, why would you have to advertise? Oh, wow. People be knocking at door five o'clock in the morning. Y'all supposed to open at eight. You know what I heard? They have a cream where you rub yourself with the cream. Yeah, that and don't supposed, work and, either. It's supposed to get big. Why ain't your hand bigger? You should have one Mickey Mouse hand and one normal hand. If you, if you, you know, rub it, you think about it. Write that down. Let's write that, write that down right there. Yeah, so think you, about if it, If you right? don't, I'll put it on that yellow pattern. Man, Once I put it on the yellow pattern, it becomes legal. Man. It becomes legal, man. <laughs> you my friend, man. You can have it, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, man. I'm serious. Can I have that joke? Yeah, yeah. How come your hands ain't getting bigger? Think about well, that. Appar man. Apparently, I have been using the cream. No, sir. Oh, <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> we be thinking of it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. This okay, is so okay. cool. But no, man. Again, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, uh, George. Catch George Walls all around the country, man. He's always around somewhere. Um, he's coming to D.C. Uh, soon, right? You're I'm going to be in D.C. soon, uh, October, October 20 yeah. and 21, and yes. I'm going to have a lot of fun there. I'm yes, going to be yes, there sir. with the, my friends. Pierre, yes. you should stop by. I'll try. And we're going to have yeah. uh, uh, Miss, uh, the lady that does impressions, uh, 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 Sylvia Tremor. Tremor, very good. Shout yeah. out to D.C. Legend. And also I'm going to be on the road with Marsha Warfield. Ooh, come and on. And you know that's really good. Marsha's back out there. I love and it. And she is fantastic. You know her from Night Court. And she's going to be Tell awesome. Her I want to get on a panic room, man. I would love to sit down and talk to her. Well, you're asking the right person. You would like to talk to Marshall Walker? Nah, she's a legend. Consider it done. Oh, you lying again. No, <laughs> you do lie. You do be lying. Who else you want to It's about the worst thing I done heard from today. I'm more worse. Yeah, you're more worse with that one. Well, that's so cool. So that's good. Let's get yeah, much yeah. because I want her to come out here. No, nah, man, I would friend. love to hear her because she don't really do these kind of shows. I don't really hear her. And I would love to sit down and just give her flowers, man. You know what I'm saying? Just give her flowers, you know. Let's do really that for right. Marshall Warfield. Well, of course, okay. of course. Anybody else you want on this show? Um, oh, you know, I've never been high before. I need to talk about that. Really? I've never done any drug. I never did any, uh, smoked any weed, uh, any. Aren't you high on life? What would you want to, why would you be chemically enhanced if you're already at that level? What, what got, level are you trying to get well, to? Well, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't want to get to it. There is another level. I just, my first, I was, uh, like I said, I was working with Dave Chappelle uh -huh. uh, the other, last week at uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh -huh. And um, everybody working for him in the back, and they all smoked real cigarettes, but they had everything else back there, too. Of course. And, man, I'm going like, what the, it was strong. You couldn't even see. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know I got a high until I got home. Somebody said, did you get the munchies? I said, I don't know what I have. When I got home, I had leftover Chinese food. I was eating <laughs> peanut butter and potato salad. <laughs> well, I had a well, pint of, uh, I'm going, yes, I did that. So whatever it is, it was some good shit. It could have been bad shit, but. You got a contact, it, it's called it, a contact. Is that what it is? It yes. worked on me. It worked and on me. And you like the filling? I don't know. Well, you like I the should, meals? I shouldn't be, you shouldn't be eating peanut butter and potato salad. You shouldn't be. <laughs> You shouldn't be I, eating that. Yeah, now I've heard how you cook. You sh that's probably on your menu. You don't cook peanut butter and potato salad. That's you, you ain't supposed to. You will cook anything. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. there ain't no pets in your building. Yeah, this is true. Okay, you like, you half Asian. Don't do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't that, one, that one, you can cross the line on that one, okay? All right, yeah. You better, you better edit that one because Asian people be coming up here. Next time you go get your Chinese food, wing ding ding do. Right. You never see Chinese funeral homes. <laughs> you ever notice that? Okay, here you go. Huh? Why not? Why don't you see them? I don't know where they go. Next time you go to a Chinese restaurant, they have oh, wing ding do. <laughs> you better ask to see Mr. They got black Chinese restaurants in Atlanta. Black Chinese restaurants? And they got black, at Nobu, they got black uh, Japanese restaurants too. 
But the sushi, they fry it. The black people fry the sushi. Well, you wrong for that. In Atlanta, they, they fry it. Black people. I never when heard they of had black the flu, Chinese restaurant. You remember when they had the bird flu? Yeah. Didn't slow black people down. Ain't nothing that some good hot grease can't fix in Atlanta. Ooh. You, we'll you, just fry it out. We fry whatever the Atlanta, problem is. Atlanta, that's why I love the city. You can't. The Negroes will fry anything too. Oh my goodness! What else you to, to fry? I saw out? somebody had a, 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 a was it a don't what do you call it? a donut cut in half? Put a hamburger in lettuce. That was a bun. You the donut, the glaze. No, I never heard about that. Oh my, that's donut. popular. That's that's very popular. Where with the donut all over the world actually? I never with heard the that donut before. in the middle. Yeah. What won't you eat? You eat anything? No, I won't. I won't eat macaroni and cheese. You black? I uh, don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <coughs> I want eat biscuits. You don't eat biscuits or macaroni mm-hmm. and cheese. You about to get your black card pulled. I know. You like sushi? And I won't eat pasta. I don't believe that. Now, now you're making it up. Now you're making it up. You, no, no. Pasta. <laughs> pasta, Dutchie. What do you mean you don't eat pasta? Go ahead. Am I missing the, y'all? Everybody laughing. I don't know what the hell I did. I don't believe you don't eat pasta, biscuits, uh, or macaroni and cheese. Pasta. All right, Mr. Wallace. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all write in the comments what the hell he talking pasta. about. What? I got to get a closer word than pasta. Oh, okay. All right. I see. <laughs> pasta. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I know a friend of mine, <laughs> she said her boyfriend death is so bad, she said she'd rather go. Continue licking his ass. So when, he, when she leaves, she's just going to let me lick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, Mr. Come on, Mr. Wallace, really? <laughs> really? Mr. Wallace is going to get in trouble. All these Christian people love me. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. crazy yeah. outside. Okay. No, I love it. I bring the worst out in you, and I love it, too. Pasta. <laughs> pasta. Everybody, Mr. Wallace, don't eat pasta. Uh, that's how you say it. He nah. likes spaghetti. Nah. You know, he like, likes rigatoni. He's going to take a... Ch- he just don't like pasta, it. eating pasta. Say, put your lips right when you say it. Pasta. pasta. You're so fucking crazy, man. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, uh, well, I don't blame you on Ladies that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure for me and a pleasure for you. If you want to have some fun and enjoy yeah. yourself, always tune in to Pierre's Panic Room. There it is right there. Pierre's man. Panic Room. Not the emergency room, not the classroom, but Pierre's Panic Room. Do you actually the PPR. Know, huh? Do you actually know what a panic room is? Some people don't know what a, a real panic is a thing called a panic room. Is that where they put the jacket on you? I don't know what panic no, room is. No, no. Panic room is, it, you, well, you make $150,000. You're worth $150,000. Million, rich people have a big house and they have a room. Oh, yeah, the panic room. Yeah, sure. Oh, you did? Yeah, now I just asked you the question. Are you, are you getting old? What's, what's happening? No, you don't. The I panic the room. Question. Yeah, I got a panic room. That's a that's the call the bathroom in your house, man. No, man. Yeah, you going there and take a dump. <laughs> okay. Ain't hey, nobody coming in there, okay? It's closed. You ain't yeah, got to lock the door. I just dump in your bathroom, dude. Here's a panic room. Go in there. Ooh-wee. You will panic. Well, what? So now when you come here, we put towels underneath the floor when you, go, when you come to the bathroom. Can't let it leak out, okay? But no, one more time, man. Thank you, George Walsh, for stopping through. You are, you are a legend and a cool guy, man. I appreciate it. We have fun, man. I love talking to you, man. Just a different spirit, different flow. And guess what? The audience, every time they watch it, they love it. They say, man, y'all just need to keep on doing it. One day, I don't know what your sitcom is going to do, but if it doesn't be what does what, what you want it to do, I need to write a sitcom. I already got an idea of me and you in a sitcom. I think that people would like that. Well, you better hurry because I'm writing a sitcom. I'm writing a movie, rather. Know why? Why? The other day, uh, Faison, uh-huh. love. Shout out to Faison. Yeah, you know him? Of course I know him. The other day he called me a black walker flocker. Ooh. I said, hold on. Hold on right there. He called me a black MF. I said, I laughed for 15 minutes. I said, Faison. <laughs> ooh. The cat. <laughs> I, I said, I said, ooh. He calling me black. I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm going to write a movie. Uh, really? It's just going to be called Black. Damn. All black me, actors, dark skin? Yep. Yeah, uh, me and Don Cheadle. Like, Don, Don Cheadle and uh, uh, Michael Blackston. Right, my, ooh, ooh, Somebody ooh, said, ooh. turn the lights on. Uh, lights on. Uh, uh, <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Don Cheadle, you crazy as shit, y'all. Give it up one more time for my man, Mr. George Wallace. Give it up, y'all. Thank, Thank y'all for watching another episode of PS Panic Room. Like I said, hit the notification bell, man. Hit it there. Or subscription, man. Subscribe for it, man. Yeah, hit subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching PS Panic Room. I love it when y'all tell me y'all love the show, man. I try to get the best guests and some of the great, great legends like I did today. Thank you so much, Mr. Walsh, for coming through, y'all. Thank y'all for supporting it. And again, uh, I'll see y'all another time. All right? I'll let you boy. I survived Pierre's panic room, the PPR. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. Mm. 
If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. We want you around. Appreciate it.